Good morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here for who knows how many shows. Um, I don't think we actually got it right last time because there is one video in there that is a fuller one from one of the cooks I think. So this might be 42 or it might be 43. Anyway, um, yeah good morning. Beautiful sunny day, nice and, well it's not warm but it's nice, it's pleasant. Um, and today, usual story, three cooks-ish. Um, and we were we, last week we talked about doing a chicken pie but it's too nice for chicken pie so we've gone a sort of fishy shellfishy theme so i think i put it out there as belgo central which is a lovely restaurant in london uh, that i used to frequent when i worked down there back in the days when i had a proper job and i think what's the date oh no it'd be eight years tomorrow since i had a proper job um of course this is a proper job uh anyway um, so yeah, I love Belgo. Um, it's a Belgian restaurant, loads and loads of beers, uh, and also some nice food. And I thought we could do some of that, sort of. So um, the first recipe we're gonna do, I have seen on one of their menus, but I've never seen it. Uh, I've seen it on one of their menus online, but I've never seen it on a menu uh, or while well, I've been there. So I've never had it there. So, but we've done this before. I think we did it in a previous cook. So um, you see, we're gonna do obviously mussels and we're also going to do a chicken. Um, so, I fired up the Mini Max today for a change and chucked it on the rotisserie and we've just got a chicken whirring around in there. So, um, I've got it going just so you can see it. Um, with the Let's Cue on the Mini Max, pull it right to the front as with all the others, but do make sure your bands are right because I know that this isn't. Um, if your bands aren't the right height at the back, it will scuff and it will take your gas gasket off. Um, I did it on this one. I've already told you that story. So it's still hanging off at the back, but it seems to be working fine. So anyway, um, yeah. So on camera today, in the sunshine. Oh, I'm not really. Well, no, you're not. You're in the shade, but in this, <laughs> it's Helena. Um, although it's what, with all the new announcements, I think it's about three or four weeks until we'll get Andrea back on the camera. Hooray! So uh, she's, she's um, gagging to come back. We spoke to her yesterday, uh, but of course we're not allowed her yet. Unless I paid her a curse, that could be work and she could come then. Um, but no, we're waiting properly until the uh, uh, noise of birds coming over, um, until we're allowed to do it. Um, the rules uh, around social distancing haven't been announced. That will be announced on the 19th of May. So um, group classes, no change until um, 19th of May. We'll know what's going on then. Uh, but it looks like if everything goes to plan, 21st of, I think it is of June, we should be able to start doing classes again. Um, unfortunately, we might be going away on holiday just straight after that, so you'll have to wait. <laughs> Unlucky. We got last year's holiday got bumped, and I think we'll, that will happen in July. So there'll be probably the first class will be in August, um, which you probably didn't want to hear, but I'm just being honest. Right. Let's crack on. So, um, egg, too hot. Um, so on this egg, and I've probably got no innards in, I haven't yet got some, I've got to get some surfaces, we'll go and grab those. Uh, but we are gonna do some salt and pepper squid, and I have seen it on Belgo's menu. So let me just get the surfaces, which are over here, on the surfing tree. There you go, you can show that, Helen. All our surfaces hanging up. Get this open. Good old trusty egg. This is the oldest of my eggs, uh, which will be eight years old, because that's what I spent my redundancy money with. Um, Morning, so. Karen. Morning, Lucy. So all I'm doing, cast iron pan, a little bit of olive oil in there, and we're just going to warm that up. I want that to be 180, so I'm going to knock it down a bit, knock it shut a bit at the bottom. Always control both at the same time to control that airflow. Uh, we want that to be about 180, so that's it'll come down. Put something cold in. Morning, Perfect. Karen. Morning, Mr. White. Morning, Chubby. Oh, we've got everybody Morning, on. Sarah. Right. Now I'm not going to do masses because there's only two of us. So we have a plate of small squid. We've got some plain flour. I've got some mould and salt. So I'm just going to take a What's that? A couple of tea, teaspoon and a half molten salt, maybe not the same again. Let's call that three and that much flour. Morning, Barry. 
we're going to go in with some black pepper. So we are in Histon, which is just north of Cambridge. Just going to mix it up, get that in. So that's ready for our squid. And then I just want squid rings. So we're just going to take the whole tubes. These were prepared, so they come with the tentacle bit in the middle inside when you defrost them. These are from uh, Waitrose, so I just want squid rings. So I'm going to cut them about a centimetre wide. Now I learned this recipe from Carlos. I don't know if Carlos is on. He's probably out on his bike today. Uh, no, I haven't seen him on the I'm just going to cut the, uh, the tentacles into two. Leave those on. Morning Chubby, by the way, it's my brother, who's... Um, Paul uh, White has noticed the stripes on your lawn. Thank you, Paul. Yes, I mowed it especially for you. I think you better show him the patio now, <laughs> since he was the one who commented on it being grubby. So uh, he even got the jet wash out this week. <laughs> no chemicals though, Paul, not like you. Anyway. Morning, Mum. <laughs> Morning, Mama. Right. So, um, in with the squid, into the salt and pepper, into the flour, and then we're just gonna mix it up with our fingers. Morning. And this is a really quick starter. Matt, morning Karen. Really dirty starter too. Right, so we'll take it over. Morning Steve, Bob Medic. Oh, right, here we go. I'm surprised how many people are on in this lovely, oh, a little bit more. Let's let that heat up a little bit more, give me a chance to wash my hands. So that's the first dish we're going to do. Um, so you've seen the chicken. So in Belgo, they typically serve lots of mussels and beer with chips or lots of chicken and beer and chips. So I think you've got the idea of what the recipes are going to be today. A big pot of mussels just here. So we're going to make a moule marinier with lots of frit cooked on the on the egg. You know I love my uh, cooking with uh, deep fat frying on the egg. Everyone thinks it's dangerous. It's not as long as you control it. As long as you don't tip the oil onto the li onto the coals like I nearly did last week live. <laughs> Thank you to my brother for pointing that one out. Um, yeah. So, um, so we're gonna do, you've seen the chicken, which is cooking. Um, I'm using the meter on the chicken. So I've got the meter block here. I've got one of these probes um, in the chicken and I've just got an iPad over here uh, monitoring it so it's saying six minutes remaining we're aiming for 74 degrees on that chicken um, I've turned the egg down a bit it was going a bit quickly so I can turn it back up open it up a little bit I don't know. we've got quite um, a lot of people still joining do you yep. want to share? so um, so here's our chicken now I've had a lot of questions about how do you get a crispy skin when you're doing the rotisserie um, and the, the thing is to do is just to turn it up at the end so it's exactly what I'm going to do. What you don't want to do is burn it um, uh, early on. So we're going to turn it up, open it up a little bit. We'll get a little bit hotter and that will crisp up the skin. The other way to do it is you could um, take the, loosen the skin on the uh, chicken and put butter underneath and that fat would then crisp up the skin. A bit of salt on the top, that will help. But a little bit of heat at the end, we'll turn it up, that will crisp up the skin. Obviously, if you rest it, the skin is not going to be as crispy and I prefer to rest it. So. Um, but anyway, that's going to beep at us, hopefully. So let's have a little look at how we're getting on. So, oh, a little bit more. Should have put it in earlier. Um, so, um, so someone's asked, what temperature did you start the chicken at? So the chicken has, I, on the mini max, I've got it a bit lower because it's right by the charcoal. So it's reading about 150 on the gauge, but I know that further down, it's going to be hotter. And if I looked at the graph, which I probably could do, uh, yeah, it's gone up to about 160 before I turned it down. So that's this green line. Um, I turned it down because it was just cooking too quickly. I didn't want it to finish before we started. <laughs> so I turned it down. Now I've turned it back up again, so it should start to come back up. Hope um, you're okay, John. Someone, uh, John Pritchard's watching from uh, just over the road. Oh, Hampton. okay. Hi, John, you're at the, oh, I, know, I know exactly where you are. Morning, okay, Ben. Yeah. Uh, so that's Woody Ben that's just joined, and I know we've got Ben Slater on. Ben the farmer. Morning. Just a bit of American champagne while we wait for this to warm up. It's that three weeks in a row, I think I said that. 
Right, let's show you what's going on on the other eggs while that warms up a little bit. So, on this egg, you always see me frying, deep frying on this egg. So this is where we're gonna do some chips, some frites. I've got a wok in there, I've got oil in there. Um, it's the same oil that we cooked the spring onions in last week. Um, what you should see on the egg is the temperature is down, I and mean, it's dropping now because I've just opened it, but it was at about 130, 140 degrees, okay? So really low. However, when I go in with a thermopen into the oil, can you see that? Sorry, no, the sun's right on it, see? 183 degrees. So 180, roughly where I want to be for chips, maybe up to 200. Um, but you've got to keep the egg temperature down because that oil is sat right above the charcoal where it's much hotter. I've said it several times, but your egg is only at 140 degrees, your oil's at 180 because it's right by the fire. And can you tell us what oil you're using? Um, it's just a veg oil. Yeah, just okay. a bog standard veg oil, veg oil, big carrier of it, cheap as chips. I'm not that fussy, to be honest. Good morning, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan? Yes, I don't, sorry, I don't know what your name is because it's not very easy to tell from your uh, Instagram name, so, oh. uh, but welcome. Wow, is that our furthest follower ever? I don't know. Who knows? Right, we've got to be hot enough now. Oh, a tiny bit more. This is taking forever. Right, apologies. I should, what I, should, I will do, I should speed it up. Um, if you put your pans, just like the chip pan, nearer the fire, it will go faster. I like to cook at the top level um, up here because uh, when you're using the expander because um, you can see better, but it will actually get hotter down there. So I'll just pop it down there for a couple of minutes more and we should be good to go. Right, so while we're Hi, doing- Hi Zucro, I hope I've said that right. Sorry? Zucro is wow. our follower in, he's in Samarkand City. Welcome anyway, welcome. Um, right, so, I want this to speed up because I don't want to do those other things. So in this egg here, over here, we are going to cook. This is where we're going to do the mussels. Um, I just have a cast iron um, Dutch oven. Um, this is a lodge one, but the big green egg one will be fine. It's just a little bit smaller um, and it was clean. So um, I'm going to get this ready. And we'll get, so with this, we want to go with a direct cook. So I'm going to get rid of my expander. Balance that there. Oh, sorry, not expanded. Uh, convector plate setter. We'll pop that in, and again, I'll put those on the lower setting, just so we've got more room. So we'll put those in, and I'll pop this pan in so it can heat up. Um, and we're going to cook our mussels in there. Simple as that. Right. Chicken has got two minutes left. This has to be hot enough now. Come on. Keep opening the lid. There we go. Starting. Lid open a little bit, it'll be fine. So we just want to get these in there. Just a very quick fry on these. Could be a little bit hotter, but we're going, we're going to go with it. We can't wait all day. But if it were you at home, bit of colour on, on the coals. Sorry? That's better, they're sizzling. Yeah, though. they're sizzling. Don't overcrowd it, you can do them in batches, but we'll just, we've hardly got anything in here. You can see how quickly it's starting to get hot when we've got the lid open. So, in they go. I think we did these, I'm gonna shut the lid for a sec, wash my hands, I think we did these right at the beginning of lockdown. Um, but they're so nice. So what we'll do, we'll get these out and then we can nibble on them all the way through the, Yay. all the way through the cook. <laughs> and the camera girl is always trying to sneak things off, so. Finger food is always good. Yeah. Right, so let's get these. They take seconds. That's better. You don't want to overcook them, you just want to get them so they cook through. So we've got the sizzle show on. We Good have, morning. Um, <clears throat> I want to say his name's James, I've forgotten. 
But morning, this is all show. Uh, we've had we've got Vlaze on, we've got Let's Q on. Good morning, Vlaze. Vlaze, who will be doing our uh, our new units? We're really excited about. So uh, yeah, all our eggs are going to go into brand new units from Vlaze, um, which uh, uh, which is really exciting. Some lovely stainless steel carcasses. That's our heat. So um, you can hear it saying remove from heat. So I'll just click on it so it, it knows we're doing something. What we're going to do, here's our chicken. Lucy sounds like she's been using her uh, egg quite a lot. They had, they'd done a chilli and they had squid last night and mussels for lunch. Oh, lovely. So I'm just checking it's 74 above everywhere. So a little bit low there, but on the rest that will go. So I'm going to take this off. Morning so. live to barbecue. Sorry, don't know your name. Right, we've got drippy chicken everywhere. So I'm going to take that off. Let me just go and get back to my squid quickly. It's typical that everything's ready at the same time. They're looking good. So I'm going to steal my cloth spoon from over here. Grab a bowl. And if there's any of these left at the end, it will be a miracle. <laughs> So I'll just leave them up here. <laughs> right. So, salt and pepper squid. I'd let those cool down a little bit. Top. Yeah. I am going to pop that over there. Steam, take this pan out. I don't want all this fat in the next cook, uh, but I will pop the next pan in to heat up. Right, we're gonna make uh, a sauce for the chicken on here. But first, let's go and get this chicken wrapped. I want it to rest. Um, so, um, just gonna undo that. Take our spit out. I might just leave that bit in the back end of it and just cover it with a bit of foil. That smells nice. So all I've put on this chicken, by the way, is a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I didn't want to, sorry, I know that's noisy. Uh, I didn't want to overpower it or do anything too much. A bit of salt and pepper, we're gonna put a nice sauce with it. So just gonna wrap it. Um, if you've still got your meter in, which I have sticking here, um, and you want it, put it through the foil, push the foil over it, because the signal won't get out through the foil. Um, so it's saying resting, it's over here, it's telling me it's seven minutes, um, which will give us, it's going to rest a bit longer than that, but uh, that should be, keep it lovely and hot. Um, if you wanted to do it, um, if you wanted to do it and keep it hotter for longer, wrap it in towels, wrap it in foil, or foil then towels and put it in a cool box and it'll stay hot for an hour or so. Um, so that would be absolutely perfect for you. Right. Just going to wipe this down. We'll give it a anti back so that we can use it in a minute, and then we're going to go and get those chips on. I do love chips. She she scowled at me a few uh, what a couple of weeks ago when I got I did the chips. So uh, French fries, skin on. I'm just going to drain them down. You don't want to put that water in there. Morning, um, Annie. You want them to be as dry as possible. What happens when things go wrong with a chip pan, it's normally when you've got water on your chips. The water is heavier than oil, it goes to the bottom, it then gets above 100 degrees, it turns into steam, so it expands, and that's when it chucks the oil out. So just make sure what you're putting in there is pretty dry. Morning UK barbecue, Melagon, sorry, don't know right. what you're... So we'll pop that there, we've got a squid, let's try it. You've got a sidling up. Mm. <laughs> I love this stuff. So really easy starter. Mm. Delish. Right. So chips. Oop, last oh. one. So still, if you have a look at this now, Helena, so people can see. 
it's, it's down at 130, 135 degrees. Okay. We put our probe in there. That's right, so that's better, that's right there. 180 degrees, perfect temperature for cooking chips. So we're going to slide them in down the side so they don't splash. And then just use my slotted spoon. <laughs> Somebody is happy about lunch. Right, so um, the temperature is going to drop. So I'm just going to open it a tiny Let's bit. Um, well, it's, the lid's been open, so it's going to drop. So I'm just going to open our vents a tiny bit. We've just put cold stuff in there. So I'm just going to let it bring it back to 180. It's going to take a little while. We'll come back and have a look, okay? So now, <laughs> you, if you could see this, there's this little shuffle like this with our hand trying to find the bowl of squid. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so let's get on with our sauce. So to go with our chicken, which is resting, we are going to do a lovely... Of course we can, Andrew. Um, so I'm putting a bit of oil in there just to loosen it up. Um, we're going to go in with um, some shallots. So the beauty of this is this recipe uses shallots. So I've got two um, banana shallots. And so does the mussels. So if you want to do both recipes, you only have to do one lot of prep. Uh, we're going to go in with, I've just chopped them up, um, some, what are the brown mushrooms called? Chestnut. Chestnut mushrooms. Thank you. I was having a moment there. So shallots are going in you could put garlic in there if you wanted I haven't done today I'm gonna to put those mushrooms in there the mushrooms are gonna sweat off the onions are gonna uh, are gonna uh, caramelize and then into this to make it a Belgian sauce we're gonna put a lot of cream but also some Belgian beer um, so this was the only one I could find in the village. So it's huge. Damn, <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. Although I did find this one in the fridge, a little uh, uh, Ho Garden Rosé, uh, and the best before date on it, which I found earlier. I don't think you should be necessarily be telling everyone. Oh, I just think that's hilarious. I can't find it now. But it has a best before date. Oh, here we go. 7th of the 7th, 18th. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Right. Give these a little stir. Means the camera girl can finish the squid before I get a chance to eat them. Step away from the squid. <laughs> Morning, Sam. Hi, Franco. Right. So We've got a debate on whether skinny fries are better or thick double cooked chips. This is Belgian food we're talking about. There is no debate. It is skinny fries and tons of mayo, which I didn't bring out. <laughs> so Bernie's book, best before, even better after. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Nick. Right, so let's get going with our mussels. And we'll get everything really ready at the same time. In fact, these will be ready before, but that's fine. So, uh, need a bit of butter. Oh, this, this. Let me just grab my knife. The skinny, skinny fries are winning the poll. There must be a way on Insta that you could put a pole up. I could, uh, not I live though, yeah. yeah, you can on a post, but yeah. I don't know how to do it live. Right, so I'm going to go in with a bit of butter, probably 20 grams. Get that in there, start that melting down. We're going to go now, exactly the same amount of shallots, two banana shallots. Get them in. This is super fast and super easy and just so delicious. Um, a clove of garlic. Um, I've just roughly chopped it. You don't need to see me chopping. Oh, a chip sandwich, yes. <laughs> right, get a spoon. And we're just gonna sweat these down. So we've got two different things doing pretty much the same thing. One with mushrooms and this one is just shallots, bit of garlic, get it in there. So someone has said Andalus sauce rather than mayo. Do you know what Andalus sauce is? I don't. No, I don't. Jane. A lot of garlic. 
Perhaps you can enlighten us as to what Andalus yeah. sauce is. Sounds cool. Yeah. Well, right. So here we go. Oh dear, did you fall off, Steve? <laughs> with, your, with, with your shoes? Right, so our mushrooms are sweating down. So this is just going to be a creamy mushroom and beer sauce. Really simple. But to go with the chicken that we cooked on the egg. Now, what you could have done is put your rotisserie on here, take your chicken off to roast, uh, to rest, sorry, and then gone straight in with your pan, they, you know, at the same time, uh, and you've made the whole dish on one egg. So you don't need two eggs, it's just I was, you know, we're trying to squeeze everything in. So uh, since I had this one going anyway, so there, sweating down nicely. A bit of colour you want on there. I might put a little bit of butter in them as well. Why not? So, mushrooms and butter, that's great. Helen is probably going, oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Winging it again. Right, sorry, Helena. It's fine. Come on then, Rach. Oh, 10 year out of date lentils used to stop. Bean bag fans down this week. <laughs> oh yeah, we've had some classics. I found some classics in our larder on. Oh yeah, we this. had friends over for a raclette. I don't know if we told this story. Um, and uh, when we got the raclette cheese out of the fridge, freezer out of the freezer, we thought we'd only put it in a, like a year before or a couple of years before. It turned out we put it in 17 years before. <laughs> <laughs> So, needless to say, it. I had to go and get some more cheese. Okay, so the um, Andalus yeah. sauce is mayonnaise, tomato paste, and pimentos or roasted bell peppers. Oh, sounds good. Right, um, I'm just going to drain my mussels. So, these are. Um, Waitrose finest. Um, Waitrose on a. So I pulled that water out a bit fast and it all came out the front. Um, <laughs> um, Waitrose on a Friday, Fish Friday. So if you go to Waitrose, if you've got a Waitrose card, it's 20% off on a Friday. Apart from? Apart from if you forget to take your card. Or, or no, but that whole reason you were going to take Oh, so I Waitrose. went to Waitrose. Yeah, sorry everything was a bit last minute this week. I went to Waitrose because we were planning on doing spaghetti vongole and having an Italian theme. Um, no clams. So no vongles. You can't you can't do spaghetti vongole. Right. Mussels. Straight in on top of our, our so our um our shallots and our garlic. Steam down, mussels going in. Now we need some juice, so a little bit of dry white wine. Damn, I've got to drink this as well. This is gonna be a good day. So didn't bring any glasses out. Don't drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> it's not glassy. A glassish, maybe a bit more we need. Glassish, small glass of white wine going in. And we'll let those stir. You could put a lid on, however, the egg has got a lid. Job done. So let's go back to this. Oh, smelling good. Starting to brown a little bit. We have a look at she's on the squid again let's have a look at our chips might turn it up a little bit more but they're cooking they're not boiling over it's not going mad yeah temperatures drop right down because we put so much in there cold so i'm just going to open it up give it a bit more fire um but as long as you do it stage it do it slowly you'll be in control you're not going to have any issues and if you do have any issues just shut the lid and that will shut the top shut the bottom it'll starve it off starve it of oxygen right it's looking nice so i want this to be a fairly so you've got people joining so just to okay so this is a uh, for those who've just joined we are we have um we spit roasted chicken we're doing a belgian belgo central theme which is a restaurant or a series of restaurants, a chain of restaurants in London. Um, the main one being near Covent Garden. Great place. Uh, I think my brother took me there the first time. Um, down in the basement under, I can't remember, um, what's that name of that road? Neil Street. Um, sorry, we've already done squid. Um, so yeah, 
So that we're doing chips and we're doing mussels and chips and chicken and chips, which is what they do, along with lots of Belgian beer. So I want this to be a fairly loose sauce. I don't want it to be thick. So here we go. Bit of Belgian beer. Obviously, if you can get one of the thicker, more, you know, this one's only a, a blonde. I mean, it's only 6.6%. .6%. I know they go a lot. So I'm just going to put in, loosen it up. You can always add a bit more later. Because to this, we're then going to put cream. So I want to put, um, I want. Smell the beer. Oh yeah, I want to um, let that. Uh, reduce. Reduce, that's the word. I get so tongue tied. What did my brother say about you finishing my sentences? <laughs> um, so I'm going to put a tiny bit more in. Put some in the chef. No. Right. Our mussels now. Whoa, 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 easy to, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so give them a nice stir. They're starting to open up. There's some nice smells coming out of this. Can you see they're starting to open? open my egg a little bit more. Oh, your brother's up. watching whilst on the exercise bike. Oh, it's turned up. So we have a Peloton and my brother's just bought a what bike? And Helena's going for a tissue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's dropped. Must have picked that up, shouldn't I? Uh, okay. Right, that's going to reduce down nicely. Should have brought a little spoon See, out. See, Lexi said that's what makes us a perfect oh. couple. Oh, what, hold on, hold on. I have you got any? Got, I've forgotten my garlic. Oh, of course. What, can we have a flash of the socks? Have we got any crazy socks on today? Uh, no, no oh, crazy socks. Oh, Lexi. Lexi. Oh, they're not well. Uh, not bad. Flew in, whatever. I'm going to put a little bit of mustard in, just to give it a bit of zing. Beer and mustard. Let's go. Let's <clears> find <throat> a bit more. Teaspoon and a half. So we were on a walk with Lexi one day and she said that, what did she say? She said that... She, she noticed my really, I have a lot of really bright coloured socks. She noticed my socks and Helena said something about my socks and because they're so bright, um, Lexi said, they're a bit like his, uh, oh, Nick's socks, they're a bit like his personality, a bit crazy or something <laughs> like that. Right, mussels. Here we go. They're all opening up nicely. So now, time. We're going to go in. Oh, I've got one open, haven't I? Where's the one that's open? Here we go. Go in with a good glug, double cream. So that was probably half a pot, so 150 millilitres. Get it in there, get these going. So while they're finishing, we need one more ingredient, and that's parsley. So let's go and grab. Can you come over, Helena? Uh, where's my knife? Have I taken it over there now? Yeah. So good. Good chunk of parsley. In fact, half a thing of parsley. I might even go. Oh, I could have used the old stuff, couldn't I? It's a bit out of date. Bye, 20th, Barry. Thanks for watching. 20th of Jan. So I get some parsley. I'm going to go with it all. Hmm. Put a lot of mussels there, so. Get it topped up, leave a little bit back for the end. Yes, the lawn has been mowed this morning. Is that the first time you've cut the grass this year? Since Christmas Day. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you cut <laughs> it Christmas Day. You forgot about that. <laughs> Why not? What else are you going to do in lockdown? <laughs> cut the lawn. So we're going to go in with a good handful of parsley. Get that stirred in. I think you'd love them, Lexi. Love it, this is. <clears throat> I think you love the chips too. Yeah, let me just. Oh, yeah. This is so simple. Doesn't need salt and pepper, really. 
They're all pretty much open. I'm going to give them another minute. Let's have what a look. What about the oh. sauce? Sauce. Looking good. You could add more butter to that with thicken it up. I'm just going to be really carefully add a little bit of cream to that. We could add some parsley to it. <laughs> bit of cream. So Lexi just says she remembers the first time you taught her about mussels that you have to tap them to see if they'll there you go. let them close and open. So Lexi's my niece and uh, one of my nieces. Annie's on today as well. Oh, morning Annie. Uh, my other niece, one of my other nieces. I've got two others as well. Um, looking great. I'm, I want that to be fair, fairly thin, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna grab a glove or two, take it off. Pull that shut. My chips are gonna be the last thing ready, of course. So we'll get that in there. Our mussels are going to be done. Let me move some of these things out of the way so that we can then serve. Oh, yes. Oh, obviously got a wood chunk in there. They're smelling. Smoke it. Oh, lost one. Do you see they're all open? They're going to be delicious. Don't overcook them. <laughs> so. So. Steve said that Sandra chaps him on the head when she wants him to wake up <laughs> <laughs> or to open. <laughs> right, so let's have a, while those are sitting, let's have some I'm just going to put a bit of parsley over the top. We'll get a photo of those in a minute. For the how, because we're up on that. Have a look at our chips. Come on, chips. Oh, need a bit more. Oh, you've got a little bit of time yet. Okay, so while those cook. See, in total control, this will be not even up there. It needs to go, see, 110. We need a bit hotter. Let's, let's crank it up. Typical. Right. Let's uh, get our chicken and we can serve that. Okay, so a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever smoked tag duck? And if so, would you do it cold smoke? Have I? No. I, we used smoked had it only this week. We had a paella for somebody's birthday, camera girl birthday. Um, so we had paella and we put some smoked had it on it, which was kind of nice, a bit different. Um, how would I smoke it? Um, you could do it either way. It could be hot smoked, cold smoked. It doesn't really matter. So. God, the juice is dripping off that chicken. Yeah. Yeah. If you can see this. We should get that into the, we will get that into, in the, the, into the sauce, yeah. So I'm just going to take our um, meter out and we'll get our metal bit out. Yeah, the southern baked chicken is always a dinner winner. Yeah, somebody was doing that, uh, Brent was doing that yesterday. Uh, yeah, Alex Brent's Pemberton on. has done it as okay, well. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to take, cut down the legs. Do you want a leg or a breast? Uh, I'm going to go for breast. Yes. So, um, as usual, just go down the middle, let your knife slide down, and then you can follow the carcass around the corner. I'm just gonna cut down here where the wing is, just so um, it'll go. But let your knife follow the carcass. Um, I find it difficult doing it that way. Just trying to avoid the yeah. the sun. Oh, cut. So I'm gonna go for a, a really, let me just clean my hand a bit. Plate or a plate, a clean one. So we'll get our chicken on there. Just gonna chop it into three nice portions. Now this will go with the chips, but I'm gonna plate it up. Um, I'm gonna grab my spoon. Hopefully my chips will cook on time. You said they'd take a long time, didn't you? Didn't listen. Just saying. We'll put some of our <laughs> mushroom sauce, mushroom and beer sauce. There Glad you enjoyed it. the um, chicken Brent oxtail stew. Mm, sounds good. Got a little bit more parsley here. What's everyone else cooking today? Yeah, Might get out there. I'm surprised anyone's the most, on. Making the most of the sunshine. 
There you go. So oh, it's still quite fresh. So that is a rotisserie chicken with a beer, Belgian beer, and mushroom sauce with shallots, a little bit of garlic, uh, and obviously a side of fries which are on their way. So we'll get those in a minute. We'll get some of these mussels out so you can see what they look like. Let's get our chicken out of the way. Right, I'm just going to wrap it up a bit just to keep it warm. Mm, so we've got all oh, baby. I think back. I know who we can deliver some of that to for lunch. Yeah, baby back ribs, chicken shawarma, oh, Thai oh, duck curry, some of the juice. We should have put that tacos in and okay. nachos. Oh, good stuff! Right, so let's get this board a little bit cleaner. Leg of lamb tomorrow. Oh yeah, and the Scots are doing spatchcotch chicken and stuffed peppers. I believe Lexi plays a big role in that one. Oh, good stuff, Lexi. Right. Rotisserie chicken and baby back ribs. This is one of my favourites. Let's grab the other spoon. There's nothing in here, is there? No. Nothing in there, just our chips. Oh, Caribbean beef curry. Now, oh. talking of Caribbean. I should have got my big. Let me go and grab a spoon. You talk about Caribbean. Yes, so uh, I think next week we're going to go for a Jamaican theme, which was a suggestion by my sister, which we hadn't kind of considered. So I think we're going to have a go at doing jerk chicken and rice and peas. Takes us back to our uh, Barbados trip with the with Nick's brother and Rachel and the children, which was awesome. Whoop. So we thought right, we'd give that a go next week. So we'll bah. get some sauce on there. So uh, pizza and Steve's uh, barbecue minute is uh, working on his cooking area, putting some power in there. Oh, nice. Good Hoping move. to uh, acquire a let's queue in due course. Good. We can help you with that. Okay, so someone's asked, can we do some pasta? Yeah, we were going to do the spaghetti vongole, but uh, couldn't get the vongole. Right, I'm just going to take the end off. Uh, I can tell that Helen has been cutting this. It's a rude. But you can't have mussels without a big, chunky. Alex, any particular type <laughs> of pasta or anything that was? Piece of bread. So there you go, our second dish. Um, mussels, uh, moule marinier uh, with uh, just some big chunky bread um, and chips obviously, which are still cooking. I'm just gonna get in there and just check it tastes nice because this is my favorite bit. Get in the juice. Mm. And then, the way I like to eat them, use one to pull the other one out of the shell. like that mm. you won't like this no obviously not and then yeah you just pick them up open them up use them as pincers okay alex we'll have a think about some pasta we'll do jerk chicken next week and we'll come up with what some I pasta what i love to do is just slide them inside each other and stack them up i'll put a photo up because then you get this oh big, yeah you like doing that don't you? Yeah, a bit weird but anyway right let's have a look at our chips i'm oh, sorry these are taking a while Uh, I'll take some out just so we've got a picture of um, some chicken and chips. But I think we'll carry on cooking the others for a little bit longer. Not bad, in fact. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, will you now? Carry on with those. A little bit of salt. <laughs> One meter of beer shots, Charles. Uh, no, not this afternoon. <laughs> Got stuff to do, love. A salt. A little bit of salt on your chips. <laughs> no, someone else would like a bit of salt on their chips. There you go. Hold on. Let me just check. It's gonna be hot. A little bit more. Okay. Don't say that, they're perfect. Lush. So we have 
guy over here so you can see we have a chicken rotisserie chicken with a belgian beer and mushroom sauce it can't be that bad she's nicking them uh some frit and we have more more marinier a bit of bread uh and a lovely creamy sauce um, and of course the squid that we've already had so what we're thinking is that what you've said yeah so jerk chicken so i'm going back to squid i shouldn't talk with my mouth full should i much better talking. than chicken pie everyone said yeah so next week we're thinking some caribbean theme so a bit of jerk chicken um, rice and peas which we learned we, uh, the, we had a, a, a lovely housemate who taught us how to do rice and peas if i can remember it um, so we'll do some rice and peas it's gonna be delicious um so let's talk about oh should have a glass but yeah that's just rude oh that's better right um okay so i missed a question um, okay uh someone's asked have have you got a chipper gadget no i cut them by hand there you go. no just sliced them all by hand this morning it doesn't take long as long as you've got a nice sharp knife and you're not scared of using it um yeah keep your fingers tucked under what can i cut to show you uh but this knife japanese knife very sharp i'll do a bit of bread but so i would just use your um knuckles as a guide but never never have your fingers like that always have the bottoms tucked under so that you're going away from your fingers and then you can just cut through and use it as a guide and it doesn't take long to cut chips then um, so no don't have a chipper device but i do have a julienne if that is a device and what i want to do spiralized potatoes that's another one we we're going to try anyway stock a uh, big green egg uh lots of things are coming back into stock excuse me I shouldn't drink so much beer um cast iron searing grids half moons are due in tuesday now so they were due friday due tuesday containers have been delayed uh, we've got lots of uh let's queues on the way as well um so we should have the mini max ones back in uh, hopefully a lot faster than last time um but the big news i guess is big green eggs annual price rise will happen a week on monday so the 8th so if you want to grab yourself a deal um, ahead of then give me a shout because uh, for example um, so what they're going to do which I've been trying to get them to do for years um, is they're finally going to include the plate set of the convector with every egg so you'll buy a large um, and it will come with a convector brilliant but that will now cost a bit more so the large will go up from an RRP of 1045 to 1770 no yeah 1700 uh, 1175 so an increase of what's that 140 quid and they put in the plate setter which was 75 quid so um yeah so an increase in your on your egg of 55 pound essentially um and that's because shipping globally is now four times the price it was a year ago which is just hideous so these products are all coming in so they've got to they have to put the price up unfortunately so can we ask a question yeah so karen has asked she's got a rusty wok is it okay to re-season yeah absolutely give it a scrub down i just just use a bit of wire wool or something like that just give it a scrub down uh, or scrunched up tinfoil um, have a look at my video on youtube of how to season or how to look after your cast iron it would apply exactly the same to a, a rusty wok so yeah just scrub it down with a bit of um, foil wash it oil it season it um, and it'll be fine check the chips oh yeah chips oh yeah now we're now we're talking Ooh. now they've gone a bit far but um let me i know what i'm going to do i will is that cooled yes I'm just going to put my look at me chatting away forgot about my chips they're definitely cooked now a bit overcooked so um when you uh take your uh chips out 
remember to turn your egg down because we've turned it up so just turn it down so you don't get your oil too hot simple as but it is so easy and safe to do this if you did get a, and as I said before if you forget about your oil like I did one day and you fill your garden with smoke um, you just shut the lid shut the lid shut the bottom and you put it out now your oil's going to be burnt and useless but so I'm just going to shut it down I'm going to actually turn it off but I will put it back to where I had it originally and it would just sit there let those drip away in there um, so yeah, uh, so any any orders that come through this week, obviously we'll go through the current price. Yeah, uh, we'll go through at current price, um, and then after that, the price will go up. Um, so that's on Big Green Eggs. Um, we're just getting the website set up um, for the Vlaze stuff. Um, if you want to have a look at that, it's on there now, there's a menu at the top. Um, but the shop's not working yet, I need to sort that out today. Um, You've got else? a lot to do. Huh? You've got a lot to do. I know, I've got work worked, I've got recipes to write up and so on. So yeah. I'm gonna keep back. And talking. I've got to go and have a walk and I've got to go and deliver chicken to to mama. Post your orders. Post the orders that came in this morning. So there's three orders that got to go out. Um so yeah, busy day. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. Uh we'll see you next week, but go outside and enjoy it. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful today. It's not cold. I hope it's beautiful where you are, but go outside and enjoy it. And uh yeah. Let us know, post photos, tag us in, do your cooks. Hopefully that's going to be a great weekend for you. So thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.